guys, I'm back. I'm Ashley Pickens here in Memphis, Tennessee. As you already know, I've been in real estate 15 years and I'm also an auctioneer. I do trustee sales here in Shelby County. So yes, I am at the courthouse on the steps auctioning off properties. So today's video is all about the risks involved with buying properties from the auction. You know, cause your girl out here with no lashes, no nothing on, just out here with a t-shirt on. But I wanted to come on here and record another video for you because I've gotten so many new subscribers. Welcome to all of the subscribers. So, but you just know if you're here for beauty and lifestyle, vlog, all that kind of stuff, you, this is not it. This, this is So I've said before, buying properties at the auction is high risk. It's definitely a little bit more riskier than your typical real estate transaction, like buying from the MLS with a real estate agent or even buying like from HUD Home Store, one of those kind of foreclosure websites. The auction is definitely a little bit more high risk. Okay. Okay. So first of all, let me say, of course, I'm going to be biased towards the auction. I think the auction is probably one of the best places to purchase properties. I'm biased, of course, because I'm, I'm the auctioneer. And a lot of people always think like foreclosure means like a rundown, dilapidated house. And that's not necess necessarily, that's not, you know, true all the times. So you could get like a great house at the auction. You know, people live in it. Some people, you might have just got behind on your mortgage payments. People get behind on mortgage payments on brand new houses. I've heard of people buying their like vacation house at the auction. So, you know, get rid of that stigma that all the houses are run down, fire damage, it's boarded up, up in the middle of the hood. hood. You know what I mean? It's, it's not, not always. always. I'm in the ghetto. Da -da 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 -da. And honestly, another good thing about the auction is it's much quicker. You know, everything happens so quick. Like you literally go bid, pay, and basically own the house in almost the same day. Okay, so let's jump into the risks. Okay, so the first one I would say is, which we all know, and I ask people on the Instagram, I've polled the audience so many times and asked people, would you buy a house that you cannot see the inside of? And a lot of people are like, absolutely no. I would, no. Okay. So, that is one of the risks from buying at the auction. There's a chance that you will not be able to see the inside of that property. Okay? So that, you have to drive by. I talk about this. I'm not going to say it a hundred times. I'm probably going to say it a hundred times. But, you've got to drive, find out everything you can find out about that property. Drive by check for repairs there are some obvious things that you will be able to see like if it's a tree has fallen on the house you'll be able to see that you know what i mean um but if like the hvac isn't working maybe if there's a busted pipe um the hot water heater you know that kind of stuff you won't be able to see that kind of stuff if you can't go on the inside you're going to have to guess that determines how much profit you're going to make that also determines how much you're willing to spend on that house so that's a big risk, not being able to know what type of repairs are needed on the house. If you're not scared, y'all walk around the house and see. Drive the neighborhood. If there's a neighbor out, I would talk to the neighbor. Hey, you know the people who live, you know who live next door to you? They have a whole bunch of cats and pets. So I think that's, you know, basically kind of two risks right there. Not being able to see the inside of the property. And two, just the fact that you have to guess how much money the repairs are going to be. You know, you determine if it's going to be a deal or no deal you know a little cushion in your repair budget <coughs> excuse me it ain't the rona so just like you don't know what type of repairs are needed because you won't be able to see the inside of the house it might still be people living in the house you need to see if it's vacant or occupied that's another risk to buying at the auction yes the previous homeowners could still be living in the house um or it might be some tenants. Maybe the landlord lost the property to the auction and there are tenants still living in the house. Now, it could be a pro to that. You know, if they were paying on time, you might have just got you some new tenants in your property and you don't have to do anything but just tell them where to send their new rent payment to, you know? But 
that could be an issue, you know? Um, people could still be living in the house. I mean, if you see the neighbors, ask the neighbors. If there was really, truly a house that I really wanted to get at the auction, I'm going to try to find out every single thing I can about that house. I will ask the neighbors, like, when's the last time you saw somebody going in the house, right? And I don't mean crawling in the window, but I mean, I need to know if you saw somebody crawling in the window too. And if there are people living in the house and they refuse to move, then yes, you are responsible for that eviction process and the costs associated with that. If they contest that eviction, that could be some more money too. Y'all, I would absolutely drive by in the morning, you know, see if you see somebody drive by at nighttime. Maybe if it's a holiday, I live in Memphis, baby. They might have a couch and a barbecue grill on the front porch. You know what I mean? And along with people living in the house, don't forget when you purchase at the auction, depending on what state you live in, there's right of redemption. I say this in every, 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 every single video that I do. I mention right of redemption. That is when the homeowner still has a certain period of time, they can come back and reclaim the house, even though you purchased it at the auction. That can absolutely happen. I've heard of it happening. Um, okay, another risk that comes with buying at the auction is sometimes the information is not always correct. Keep in mind the banks have hired attorneys to publish these things or third parties to publish the notice in the paper and sometimes people just make mistakes let's just be honest they'll put a two instead of a three i've seen addresses on the public notice that say 1331 and it was really 3113 check and make sure the address and the information is correct especially if you're buying land where something is so similar like parcels of land or condos or the properties look exactly alike or the addresses are very close or it's the same address but it's like apartment A or apartment B, you know, verify that you're purchasing the right property. All right, guys, and the number one, the number one risk that comes with buying at the auction, we've all heard it, we all know about it, is title issues. You've got to do some kind of title search before you go to the auction. I don't know if you have to pay somebody, pay a closing attorney, an escrow company, if you know somebody to do a soft title search, or you just go look at the registrar and deeds office in your county and see if you notice any liens, like IRS liens. They are all in the deeds office. They are all there. You just have to kind of figure out how to read it. If you don't know how to read it, I would suggest that maybe you ask somebody or pay somebody, you guys. And that's the risk for buying at the auction, honestly. Now, auction.com, they have on their page what kind of liens. Some liens fall off. They're subordinate liens. You know, some liens stay and some liens fall off. I told this story one time at the auction and I was auctioning off this property. Nobody was actually there, but two guys showed up at the auction and they worked for like an electrical company and I guess the homeowner didn't pay them and the electrical company put a lien on the property that was being auctioned off and they said they were just at the auction and if somebody bought it, they were gonna give them the new bill. Whoever the new owners were at the auction, nobody was there. I was just like, hmm. I guess they was just gonna give them the bill from the old house, I guess. They so maybe they were just gonna try to give the bill to the bidder. I don't know, but nobody was there to buy the house. But they were there ready to pass that invoice on to the new, you know, owner of the house. If you're thinking about buying at the auction, get familiar with your county's lands and record and deeds office, okay? The registrar's office. Get familiar with it. At least go in there and put in your own address. Put in your mama's address. Do something and see, you know, so you can get a feel of what it looks like, okay? Um... And I would suggest strongly that you do that. That is the biggest issue. I've had people at the auction purchase properties and then they can't sell it for a while because it's got a lien sitting out there. Um, and there are some liens that do not fall off. Like Uncle Sam, baby, the IRS, he, he gonna get his coins, okay? That is not falling off. That's a video for another day. Video for another day. Also, another thing, don't forget, at the trustee sale, taxes are not included in the winning bid so that's something else you need to look up the taxes before you come to the auction in case there are years worth of taxes that need to be paid because if so 
you are going to be responsible for the taxes. A lot of these little houses that I'm auctioning off, taxes might be two, three hundred dollars. But baby, in California, where y'all stay, California, Florida, where the property taxes be ridiculous. Y'all got some insane property taxes. California, Texas. That concludes all my risks. That is what I think. Even though I still think the auction is an amazing place to buy. Um, there are risks involved. With all investments. Stocks. Everything. There are risks involved. So those are my top five risks when it comes to buying at the auction. Even though I think the auction is still a great place to buy. Um, those are the risks that I see um, that are associated with purchasing at the auction. As always, if you have any more questions, what do you think? What other risks did I miss? Did I miss something? You guys, comment, let me know. Um, if you have a question, as always, let me know. Questions, comments, I try to respond back to everybody. Um, don't forget, I'm on Instagram. Y'all know where I'm at. Your Agent Ashley. Thank you so much for watching. And I'm trying, y'all. I'm trying with these videos like once a week. You should be proud. Thank you to all my new subscribers. Tell your friends to tell a friend. Um, but yes, I'm on Instagram, your agent Ashley. Thanks so much for watching. If you see me at the auction, come talk to me. I'm nice. I will answer any question you have. Come talk to your girl. Come talk to your girl. Your auction mama will be happy to see you. Happy to have you. Um, and as always, thank you so much for watching. Baby, this is not a beauty. I got on a t-shirt, no lashes, some lipstick, lipstick, a little, no lashes on. This is not a beauty channel. This is not a vlog. This is not a lifestyle. This is this is the Get Money channel. This is what your auction mama is helping you put some coins in your pocket, build wealth, and teach you what you need to know about the auction. Because I know nobody else is out here teaching y'all.